guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new vlog a brand new month hello june can we believe it we are in june we are enjoying some summer sunshine finally i will say much hotter than this i can't cope i like it this temperature i've really been enjoying the sun that we have been having so it is a brand new month i wanted to as always do a little monthly reset vlog but i wanted today's vlog to have a bit of a focus of self-care within this video because i just feel like it's so important and it's the perfect kind of reset to have a bit of meditation a bit of self-love a bit of pamper i'm going to share with you some monthly favorites as i always do in these monthly reset videos but i'm also very excitingly going on a nice spa day with my mum tomorrow so i'll bring you along to that with me i'm going to head over to my parents tonight take barney with me dad's going to look after barney tomorrow and i also wanted to mention today's video sponsor hello fresh with the sun being out for me this time of the year for me as it starts to heat up i really like to eat fresh produce and hello fresh delivers it straight to your door every single week super convenient and easy hassle free perfectly portioned dinners without the kind of added stress of trying to decide what to have for dinner tonight so hello fresh is a subscription service it's a weekly um kind of like rolling thing which you can cancel or pause at any time but i do have a discount code for you guys if you use the code ff60 you will get a massive 60 percent off your first box and 25% off your next eight boxes. So well worth trying right now if you haven't already. I'll leave a link to um, HelloFresh down in the description box below. I'll also leave a little QR code on the screen if you're watching from a device where you wanna just get your phone out, scan that and it will pop up. Make sure to use the code FF60 and you'll get that amazing offer. We are finally at a stage now like this week really of starting to cook in our new kitchen which is so incredibly exciting as soon as it is all up and ready and raring to go this week at some point probably in my next couple of vlogs or whatever i will yeah be cooking in the new kitchen but for last night we had a what did we have last night we had the pork burgers which i think are probably one of my favorite of the burger options that they do because it's just so delicious the apple that comes with it i always save a little bit and pop it in the salad as well because it is that delicious um it's just again nice and fresh eating fresh for summer fresh food and getting in my fruits and veg is just i don't know i actually crave it more at this time of the year so yeah i've really been enjoying that the meal that we had last night was absolutely delicious super easy to cook as well even for a novice like me who's not a very good cook in the kitchen you pick up some tips and tricks along the way with hello fresh so each week you can choose a kind of tailored plan to suit you so we have three meals a week for two people i will log on each week to have a look at their recipes they've got this such a wide range from um family favorites rapid recipes which are my favorite personally like a 20 minute recipe you can choose from meat options fish vegetarian even do low calorie options as well with all the nutritional information on the back of the recipe card that you get delivered in with your box essentially the bags are numbered and they those numbers correspond to the recipe card number so that you can follow simple instructions which even has imagery as well so that you can follow step by step on how to cook each recipe for me personally i just like that flexibility of being able to pause and cancel so like if you were to go away or like with us with the renovations if we've had periods where we've not been able to cook we can always pause it especially if you are going away if you want to avoid having an empty fridge on your turn you can have your box obviously ordered and ready to go so um yeah i just wanted to firstly thank hellofresh for working with me as always it's a pleasure i've been a customer of theirs for such a long time now anyway make sure to use ff60 to get 60 percent off your first box and 25 percent off your next eight so i still do need to pack up before heading over to my parents later on this afternoon at some point i'm gonna try and avoid a rush hour but we will see um i've got some work to do first but i thought i would show you some pr mailers one in particular this first one i'll show you it's kind of relevant because it's related to what myself and my mum are getting up to tomorrow here it is so essentially there is a spa i've never been to it it's called eden hall um spa and it's not too far from where my parents live so i thought i would take the opportunity once getting that invite and they said i could bring a plus one to go and essentially enjoy their spa facilities have a 60 minute treatment each and have lunch what a luxury so i took them up on the offer i asked my mum if she wanted to go so that is what we are doing tomorrow 
and yeah they sent this out beforehand so this is just honestly fits the brief with a self-care pampering kind of vlog that we have today why am i out of breath from picking up this box wow okay look at that image that is where we're going to be tomorrow how luxury does that look serenity spa day arrival time 9 30 full access up until 6 p.m so we've got full access all day if we wanted to a 60 minute treatment at 10 a.m i've got a deep tissue massage my mom's going for a pro glow genius facial and then we've got lunch booked in the spa restaurant at 12 15. then we might have a bit of a relax in the spa hopefully the sun's out we can do a bit of tanning we can get our tan on they sent over a little kind of pre-arrival pamper package firstly these which are super handy which i'm going to take with me some flip-flops they've got the branding on there for eden hall but yeah just going to take those for like in and around the spa area and then they've sent these over and i've used these before absolutely love them so elemis pro collagen hydrogel eye mask i think it might be elemis that are doing the facial for my mum tomorrow it's like an elemis facial so yeah but these are super handy i'm definitely going to take a couple of these with us to use their pro collagen range is honestly amaze um, a little tote bag as well which is again super handy i'll put my flip-flops and my book i'm going to take a book if i get around to reading it it's a new one that i got sent again in a pr package called breathe in breathe out all about breathing techniques calm meditation that kind of thing again fits the brief with today's video they also sent over a set of three polishes and this gorgeous candle from lms i forget that lms do candles but this one is the english garden candle even just opening the box it smells amazing it's very it's quite fresh you know what i'm like with my florals it is floral it's got rose peony and dewberry in it so it wouldn't be my like go-to but it just smells so fresh that i feel like that will be lovely to burn oops inside the kitchen when we've got the doors open onto the garden we get that burning on my kitchen island we've got gemini back in today actually they're just finishing off fitting the shelf so exciting I'll try and show you some updates in this video as well but um yeah and then what else have they sent this little oh little little drinky drink so sip smith london you guys know i'm not really a big drinker so this is perfect for me because sip smith if you don't know is alcohol free so it's an alcohol free gin juniper and citrus and this from franklin and sons is an elderflower and cucumber tonic water so thanks to eden hall for sending those bits and also for inviting us tomorrow I'm very much looking forward to a pamper a chill a relax catch up with my mom should be a good day poor dad is on duty for looking after the dog i'm sure he'll take him for a nice walk and enjoy his company um okay i'll also show you these other pr packages that i've got i'm gonna whiz through them because i've got quite a few to show you Let's see if you can guess what brand sent this open for a fragrant surprise Ta -da! love us a floral package i've got in here the mountain air disinfectant pet odors pet friendly lemon zing wipes this is one of my favorite summer scents. Linen Fresh is just like a staple, isn't it? Midnight Blooms Disinfectant Cleaner. I know that's a popular scent, that one. I've not tried this before, though. The Power Bathroom. I've got two parcels, actually, from Pixie. Their new On The Glow Bronze Tinted Moisture Sticks. These look, these look interesting. I like a kind of balm texture. Warm Glow. The dark one is Beach Glow. Oh, wow, that's like a super sheer buildable I don't even know if you'll be able to see that on camera. Let me see if I can compare the two hands. Can you see that? Very, very light. Let me show you the darker one. Yeah, obviously much more pigmented, that one. I feel like they'll blend out lovely, though. I just really like using cream products. I feel like I need to give those to a proper go rather than just swatching. Pixie's favourites to get you midsummer ready in no time. So we've got in there a... Glittery Eye Quad, Lip Lift Max, Makeup Melting Cleansing Cloths, Metallic Tattoos, not sure about them, H2O Skin Drink, and Belt Bag, obviously. I might take these with me to the spa tomorrow just to 
have makeup melting cleansing cloths to remove my dew. If I'm going at 9.30, I don't think I'll be wearing any makeup anyway. Okay, this was incredibly excited to receive. I've talked about these. I think it was in my last monthly reset video for my monthly favorites section. I've talked about these before. So they're from Bobbi Brown and they are their long wear cream shadow sticks. Now I am an absolute lover of these anyway. I've been using the shade Truffle for my like brow bone and inner corner for the longest time. I'm literally gonna say maybe four or five years. Look at all of these new shades that they've, I'm assuming they're new shades that they've brought out. These are all the different shades. So I'm gonna show you the porcelain pearl because again, it's quite similar to like having as a, an inner corner highlight type color, type shade, I should say. Look at that, oh, so beautiful. Ciate, brand new fierce wing duo. Oh, they've sent a few bits actually. Hydrating and pore refining primer, watermelon burst. This is their new fierce wing duo. So what's this in black? Liquid brush eyeliner. And then what's this? Oh, oops. Oh, wow. Okay, I get it. So this is like they tip the shape that you would do for an eyeliner. It says this one's for your right eye. So you would put that at the end so that it perfectly prints an, an eyeliner flick. And then with this one, this pen, you go in on the lash line. Super clever. I don't tend to wear liner though because I feel like my eyes are uneven. <laughs> and it highlights it when I wear eyeliner. We've got a velvet lip liner in Coco, hydrating lip oil, and an XXL false lash effect mascara. It's the lip oil. Oh, wow. That's like wet. Okay, a little goes a long way with this. Get you know. Oh, that's cute. It's made to look like a little flight ticket, boarding the plane type ticket. Free holiday checklist in here. So essentially this is promoting their new tan accelerating lotion, which looks like so. And from reading this, you essentially um, put it on morning and evening every day, two weeks, from two weeks before your holiday. And it helps build a nice tan. All for a summer tan. I need to get some holiday book first though. We were talking about it. We will keep talking about it. I think with the house, we just end up spending time and effort on the house, but we need to book something. We, we would love a little break. So yeah, some summer sun. This is from Kwana. So they've sent some supplements to help with your nether regions. Bladder health support, libido boost, health, vaginal health support. They are the supplements for that. Oh, okay, I'm ending on vagina supplements. <laughs> there we go. Um, so yeah, they are all the little PR bits, I think. Yeah, that's everything. I need to go wash my hand. I need to pack, and then I'll probably see you guys either tomorrow morning when I get home tonight to my parents, or yeah, pick you up tomorrow for spa day, which oh, so excited for. I've packed my cosy already, I've got my book. Sunnies. Oh, do I need to pack some sun cream if it is sunny? Maybe I will do that. Good morning, puppy. Good morning. <laughs> he wants to come with us, but you're not coming. You're staying here. The bag is packed, ready to go. Just waiting for my mum. Put that down, turn that down. So we are just about to set off to Eden Hall. It's about a half an hour drive, which isn't too bad. <sighs> Late as per usual, mother. But yeah, Barney's gonna stay here. You're gonna have a fun day here. With your grandpa. <laughs> yes, you are. Get to say goodbye. You say goodbye. Oh, you're a good boy. Sun's meant to be out today, which is good. Hopefully, we're gonna. Oh, there's mum in the background. Hopefully, we're gonna catch some rays outside because I didn't realise, but they've had a newly refurbished area done. So, never been there before, so I can't compare it to anything. But it looks really nice online. So yeah, I'm excited. Oh, the young one and the husband. <laughs> you look nice. I don't know why you don't want to be on camera, but anyway. Do you want to know where all of you come from? Your toes are nice. You happy with your feet? Both of you shit. Hello. Thank you. We've got a lemon cucumber and mint or a botanical ingredient. I'm going to go for lemon cucumber and mint, I think. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. 
Champagne would have been nice. <laughs> the comedians here. So chill here so nice I've just come 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 out of my treatment I had 60 minute deep tissue massage someone's coming in <laughs> had a deep tissue massage and um, very much needed I think I've only ever had like Swedish massage before so deep tissue felt good a bit oily and a bit greased up but we're gonna go enjoy the like we haven't even seen the outside yet but essentially they've had it all newly refurbished and yeah, so we're gonna go enjoy the outside. The sun is out, which is fab. And then in about half an hour, we've got lunch. So I'm hoping lunch is outside because I kind of want to enjoy the sunshine. Also, my mum's not out yet because I think her treatment's a bit longer than mine. <laughs> so she's having a Elemis facial and I do love Elemis products. So I was very tempted for that. To get the roasted fig to start, lardens of bacon maple syrup, that's a bit of me. And then to follow, what are you thinking? What did um, Noki? Might go Noki. Carrot, coriander, or carrot or something. Not carrot and leek. Carrot and leek, yeah, it was. I'm gonna have the fig. Noki for Maine, and then with some, I think I might get some veg with it, you know. Or maybe sweet potato fries. And then dessert. Never go for a cheese platter. That's like. Fancy mocky as well. Do you? Um, that one sounds good. Shoe bun filled with raspberry cream, white chocolate rum. Honey used in our menu is harvested on site from our very own bees. our lunch I don't know if it's gonna be a bit breezy actually but we have just had the most delicious three course meal what was your favorite course um, I might call three but the, I mean I've got a sweet tooth so I'd say dessert. dessert just come outside to enjoy another couple of hours in this well I say Sun it's a bit cloudy now but we've been in the pool been in the sauna been in the relaxed room tempted to go back in and try out some of the thermal experiences but my camera just steams up so I can't show you guys but there's like a tropical room, there's the heat, ice, all sorts of sensory experiences that is quite interesting. Mum's thinking about joining up and becoming a member. Um, but yeah, we've had a lovely day, haven't we? I am absolutely thinking about it. What have you brought me? Oh, we got oh. a bone. We brought you. Got a bone? Yeah. Barney went swimming with the swans apparently at Clumber Park. Did you have a nice time? I don't know if you can tell. I've caught the sun a little bit whilst we've been sat outside. 
Oh yeah, my chest is a little bit red. <laughs> when I went into changing rooms, I saw my my um, swimming costume straps. I thought, oh no, oh, oh no, but it's so sunny. And um, we we did have sun cream ready to take with us, and forgot it. So we didn't stay too long. I mean, it's four o'clock. No, is it four o'clock? Half four. Um, sure. um, my brother's coming over tonight with his fiance. Yeah, half four already. So I think we're gonna have chippy tea tonight, even after our three course lunch, which was delicious. Don't be filming here, it's a mess. You can't see any mess. Oh. And it's not a mess. I've got Christmas wrapping paper out. Yeah, I'm living in a renovation. This is not a mess. Yeah. I feel like it's sun kissed. We might just get some furniture out and sit outside for a bit, a couple of hours before they get here. And yeah, just have a chilled afternoon, feeling very zen. That massage, so good, so needed. And yeah, feeling loose, definitely gonna book in for more regular massages. I always say it, but I mean, even when she was going up my back and she got to my shoulders and it was like, ur, 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 and she said, oh, your shoulders. I said, yeah, I can feel the crunch. Bye, Oh, he's going that way. Your cousin's coming tonight. Cousin Riley. So you're gonna have a pup mate. Playmate. Family and parents that worked at the Pentagon. It was Friends a lot. Just looking at the menu, just one second. A tall caramel coffee frappuccino, but decaf, please. Yeah, is there any cream on top of that one? Uh, yes, please. Yeah, anything else for you? Yeah. That's it, thank you. Thanks. Sun is shining this morning. I say this morning, it's actually one o'clock. Well, ten past one. Just set off to um, back home. Just got the dog, dog's bed and all the stuff in the back of the car. After what was a lovely weekend at my mum and dad. My dad found a snake on the patio. Has anyone else ever seen a snake in England? I feel like it's so rare to see a snake. It's quite chunky as well. I'll put a video in so you can see um what it looks like but we've we tried to figure out we think it was just a grass snake maybe a female uh, but anyway that was quite a sight quite an eventful morning so yeah just set off i'm just grabbing a starbucks for the road decided to get an iced frappuccino refreshing drink was very tempted for the cool line refreshers because they're back but i just feel like I wanted something a bit more substantial. I can't really remember where I last vlogged yesterday. I can't remember, we had my brother over and we had chippy tea and that was it. We played some cards, played some games. Um, and yeah, just had a nice slow morning this morning, which has been lovely. Tom has been sending me photos of the house because he's playing cricket, that's why he couldn't come. But um, he's been sending me photos of the house with all the flooring protecting thing up. So. The kitchen is basically ready. Can you even hear me over this aircon? Is that better? He, um, yeah, he sent me photos and it's all basically ready to clean now and start styling up, which is so exciting. We've got bigger furniture pieces arriving soon, but until then, it's just a case of giving like the kitchen cupboards, especially I can clean all of them down. I can give them all the dust the worktop, the sink, run the dishwashers. Stupid enough to put two dishwashers in or clever enough, who knows? We had the space and we thought rather than a spare cupboard, we'll make it into a spare dishwasher. Dining table is ordered, that's coming within the next few weeks. Sofa, consoles, they're all coming within a few weeks. What else is coming in June? Anyway, I'm just about to grab my Starbucks drink, but I can't remember. <laughs> It'll come to me, if it comes to me, I'll let you know. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna grab drink for the road get home and then yeah i can maybe show you a bit of the house and i've got some obviously some monthly favorites to share with you too oh i've just seen a wasp on the carpet we don't want to uh get that standing on that do we i'll get it in a second i just have to show you downstairs i've literally just got back it's like four o'clock well not just got back i've been back here a minute but i've been on the phone and yeah 
let's do a little house update shall we so i've got back to let me show you this is our front door yet to go in primed in white but we are going to be painting it black i've got all the hardware for it the hinges and everything like that we've got like a antique brass letter plate going there then we've got a door pull decorative door pull and a knocker to go up here and then a little yale lock cover here and yeah so that's that and here they've primed a lot of this white ready for it's like the mist coat ready for the black paint to go on which we've gone from for from lick doors have been primed as well which need to be added on at some point through here tom's obviously whilst i've been away last night he came up and brought the cr cricket bags <laughs> the bean bags up to watch tv in here because this space is somewhat finished and ready for like styling now obviously the builders are still very much and the painters and decorators working in this space so it's still a little bit chaotic like in here where they've still got a lot of their stuff a lot of the deliveries and things piled up um so i probably won't do too much in terms of organizing yet but i will clean out the cupboards style up this space a little bit again they need to do like all the edging the decorative like silicon that they edge finish the edges on the skirts that meet the floor but yeah the actual um walls and everything are painted we've gone for lick white 07 and then i love these little uh, antique brass like lock latches from Jim Lawrence for this cupboard. <gasps> I just think it's so nice. They are lovely. I love them. We've got them for the cupboard doors on the bookcase as well in the other room. So obviously it's looking very white, very clinical, but we have got some furniture on order. And then up here we've had the sauna speakers added in. There's a sauna speaker there as well. So I need some kind of a not quite sure where to put this or how to kind of cover this maybe uh, because it is obviously just plonked there but that is where it's going to live so yeah I need to figure something out because obviously we've got sofa that's going to be going here I say L shape it's a three-seater sofa here with a console table behind it so you don't really see the back of the sofa and then a footstool that's half the length of the sofa so it'll probably go this side so it creates a bit of an L shape but obviously it's a footstool so you can move it and then some kind of maybe coffee table here or some kind of table over there instead or both I'm trying to figure that out I feel like I won't properly decide until the sofa is in and we've got used to the space but for now anyway this is what it's looking like Barney's enjoying having the doors open just coming and going as he pleases and then obviously this is what the kitchen is looking like we've had the shelf fitted from Gemini these pots in the sink are clean they're just like drying I don't know why he's not dried them here start styling up this shelf soon enough I feel like for now I just need to clean it um these lights that we've gone for from Jim Lawrence are like an antique brass I absolutely love them like a little sconce I think they're called the club wall lights uh, but yeah that's how it is looking from this angle oh, I did pick myself up a little cherry bakewell from the village farm shop at my parents so I'm yet to have that I'll have that this afternoon or like this evening for my dessert but yeah everything is all ready to start clearing out wiping down organizing so it's very exciting times for me I just feel like I need a good week to be able to do it I feel like it might be something that I do for like maybe my next video because I'm sure you guys are going to want to see the whole process of me sorting all of that. That is from when Gem and I were here. We've also got in our larder unit the coffee machine up and running. So Tom has been using this already. And yeah, just need to, again, clean everything. These are boxes full of like crockery and stuff that need to start going away. So I can start doing all of that now, which just honestly makes me so happy. Um, all of these are empty. Oh! Yes, that's where it is. I wondered where I'd put that. So it's my Hotel Chocolat, the Podster machine. So I can unbox that at some point and pop it in here if it fits. If not, I'll put it on the work surface here. But um, yeah, so we can have an espresso coffee or this coffee. Because I, I only really drink decaf. So if we've got caffeinated beans in here, I don't mind just a simple, quick and easy pop in a decaf pod in the Nespresso machine, have that, and maybe just have these once in a while or when we switch out the beans. But yeah, that is what that is looking like. And then the downstairs low, how gorgeous is that plate? We just need to finish the edging off because uh, these plates are so fine. They're from Corston 
uh, they yeah they just need to finish off this edging here but honestly beautiful so in the downstairs low they have um, the joiners built a kind of shelf here to box in this pipe that needs to go outside so that we don't see it once the sink unit's in and plus it's quite handy actually to have a little shelf there that we can put like spare toilet roll or products or whatever in, on so yeah that is how that's looking we've had the tongue and groove paneling fitted with the kind of um decorative molding along the top it's been primed in white so this is just like a mist coat currently on and we are going to go for the green paint from lick that i've showed you guys before in here i am going to go for the skirting boards the paneling the decorative molding and the walls all in green for now with the ceiling white as soon as the paint is done in here the plumber will come back and fit the sink fit the toilet and that's all we have in here toilet and sink so there's a bit of dead space here but the sink is quite big i'm a little bit concerned about how big that is i think because i measured it coming out from the back of the wall and now there's a little shelf Although that, yeah, that does make a difference actually. So maybe that's why it comes out further than I thought. But anyway, I'm a bit concerned about this. <laughs> when this goes in, luckily this door doesn't open in. It opens this way. So it doesn't really matter the fact that it juts out. It's just whether or not it will look silly. So we'll see anyway when, when that's in. But as for now, that is the little house updates. I feel like I just need to get my scrubs on, get on with some cleaning. And I need to go and get some food as well. I need to get food. I just need to get stuff done today. I feel like I've got so much to do. I've got work bits to do as well. So I'm gonna get on with that for the rest of this afternoon and then probably tomorrow. Oh, in fact, no, I'll show you this as well. But then probably tomorrow, um, jump back on and share with you some monthly favourites because I have quite a few this month. So I wanted to just show you where we're at up, out, <laughs> up outside with outside. I did show you in my previous vlog how we've rendered the walls here. We've also had the wall lights added can you see there and there so at night it's lit up really it's just beautiful i took a photo so i'll insert it so you can see um but tom also found this hammock so he's added it in and he's also been cutting back all of the overgrowth of these like nettles and weeds that we've had just like building up and up and up and also hacking back some at the bottom part of the garden as well because what we are going to do barney's been helping obviously what we are going to do is this section here probably keep the evergreens there's a little bramble bush there as well i say little it's quite big so we get blackberries and i feel like blackberry jam in autumn will be a vibe towards the end of summer um but yeah because this section here the edging here it actually goes back to the fence about four and a half meters so what we've decided is we think we'll cut this back obviously when we had the garden properly landscaped and everything do it then but have all of this section as a kind of like herb garden because we were going to be having it along the back of this garden but we didn't realize how far back this went so i think that is going to be the plan it's raised as well so what we'll have to do is have like a couple of steps up into it and yeah i think that might be quite nice to grow some like mint and basil and thyme and maybe even some veggies who knows but for now tom has just been enjoying his new strimmer toy and just hacking it all back. Good morning, it is a brand new fresh day. I'm just coming up. I knew there was a carrier bag up here, so I've just come up to grab it. I'm actually gonna pop to Aldi for, um, I need to do a bit of a food shop for some like snacks and lunch options. And I thought I would bring you with me because I've seen that there's quite a lot of, sorry, I'm just in here trying to find what shoes I'm gonna wear. Some trainers downstairs, I'll wear. Yeah, I've seen that they do some, they've got a whole new range of some beauty dupes. And so I thought I would kind of show you a bit of the middle section because we all love a brown around middle of Lidl or Aldi um, Aldi special buys so that's what I'm gonna do just quickly head out don't need to do like um, don't need to spend too much time there so I'm gonna do that and then when I get back I'm gonna hello what are you doing up there <laughs> and then I'm gonna head to head back home get on with a load of like fun household organizing which is going to be my next vlog but i want to before i finish this one i want to show you some monthly favorites as well that i've been loving um but yeah that is the plan for right now and it is actually lunch time so i'm going to grab myself some lunch whilst i'm there Ooh, whilst i'm out as well just quickly i feel like it's a, one of those days that i just i'm in the mood to like just get stuff done so i don't really want to be out and about for a 
ages shopping. Oh, it's just gonna be very much a let's go. So let's go. So time to head into Aldi, see what dupes we can find, as well as obviously doing my little food shop so just a small basket it was today no trolley i wasn't intending on buying too much so anyway let's start with this two percent bha toner very much like the paula's choice one which retails for around 34 pounds then i saw some birkenstock dupes at 75 pounds these usually retail for the do barry dupes again these ones are 39.99 i think it said these are usually 379 pounds so quite a big um discount these bonded ones are very much like the olaplex even numbered like two for the shampoo three for the conditioner and they're usually 54 pounds for 56 pounds for the conditioner and shampoo some little yankee candle dupes those ones are usually retail for 13 pounds the linen and lace ones and then also these kind of seagrass ones remind me of the white company ones then as always they've got all the joe malone scents the dupes for wood sage and sea salt english pear and freesia They've got pomegranate noir, lime basil and mandarin as well as always. And then not so much a dupe, but just a good little find that I spotted in the kitchen section. Well, the middle section, but like for the, your kitchen, because these come with labels. Thought they were fab. Well, TikTok officially lied to me because that was a load of rubbish. Saw a couple of things and a couple of things have been there for ages, but not that many new beauty finds. Maybe I'll go to another Aldi soon and have another look. But um, yeah. Just picked up a few food bits, gonna head back now. Um, what was I gonna say, why did I? Come on camera in the first place, oh, 21 degrees, it sits on my car, nice. That's just ideal for me, just right. I did actually catch a bit of the sun at the spa. Can you see my chest, it's just a little bit red. Just a little bit, looks quite red in, in the camera. So I need to like, just wear a t-shirt today, cover up cover that up maybe catch some sun on my arms this afternoon but anyway let's head back it's actually quite warm let's head back let's make myself maybe an iced drink of some kind my tummy's rumbling so i'm gonna have some lunch and i picked up a salad so i'm being healthy for my lunch today which just means i can have a cheeky treat this afternoon which i'm going to share with you one of my monthly favorites omg i have found the yummiest of all treats if you're a white chocolate fan in particular just you wait. And time to chill. Ooh, that's hot. Okay, let's end off today's video with some monthly favourites. Top of my list, a spa day with your mum because that was just the most restorative, restful, gorgeous day and yeah, loved every second of it. So thank you again to Eden Hall for having us. But um, in terms of a few products that I've got to share with you, this one, I don't know why I've kept it in the box. I just feel like maybe to show you, but um, I, I think I might have unboxed this. You can see I've used a little bit of it. Still got lots left, but I might have unboxed this in a vlog, but it's the Bimata Carbon Negative Eucalyptus and Lavender Another Day Bioactive Fabric Refresher. So another day is kind of like a bougie Febreze few clothes like a fabric spray. It smells so, so good, looks gorgeous as well. I said that I would let you guys know when I unboxed this how I was getting on with it. Loving it. This is also the tan that I mentioned earlier, this new one that I've been loving from FN and FN, I think that's how you pronounce it, E-F-F-N. Uh, this one is in the ultra dark. They do have other shades as well, but I have been loving this. I only keep it on for like a few hours it does say up to eight hours to leave it on for to like allow it to develop but i find it's one of those tans that like with most mousses i find you rinse it off but it kind of still develops even after you've showered it off for that first time so yeah that i have been loving and this for my hair i pulled it out of my pr pile basically these drawers are full especially the bottom four they're full of pr products that i get sent out that i've wanted to try out any things that I've not put in a donation pile, I pop in there to try out at a later date. And this I pulled from there after running out of my Batiste dry shampoo, which I love, do love Batiste. 
However, the Kerastase one is also really, really lovely. So this one is called the Refreshing Dry Shampoo. It's got vitamin E and rice starch in. For all hair types, it smells really nice. I think that's the main thing which I've been loving using this for is when you spritz it on, it actually smells really, really nice. It smells like, you know, when you get back from the salon, your hair smells like it's been washed at the salon. It's got a different kind of scent to it. That gives a salon scent. Kerastase is quite often a salon product, isn't it? So anyway, loving that. And then I also have this, again, I've got the original box, but it's time I get rid of it now, because I don't need it. I don't know why I keep taking it in and out of the box, because it takes up far too much time. But this is from Bobbi Brown. Again, I mentioned this in a vlog, and a few of you guys have asked me what shade this was in that I've used. So I've got a few shades. This is the only one that I've decided to keep. I'm gonna donate the other two, just because I feel like they're not really my shade. But it is quite sheer, I will say that. I've got it on now. It's got a bit of a tint to it. This is what is in the shade Bare Bloom. And if you like that kind of balmy texture rather than a lip gloss, or I'm sorry, a lipstick or a lip gloss, I suppose, then this is beautiful. So yeah, that is the shade that I have been wearing. It's like a nice corally pinky shade, perfect for summer. And then I've got a couple of like random food and drinky items. I always, find a way to include some new food and drink finds. So firstly, the tea that I'm drinking. This is from Pucker and it's the Radiance Tea. Delicious. It's got nettle, peppermint and fennel in. I think it's the nettle that I really like. Reminds me a bit of a green tea, but it's caffeine free. So yeah, I've been really enjoying that. And then this is another tea that I have for more of like a fruity tea. This one's elderflower and pear white tea. Where did I find these? I think I bought these in booths. I think I got them in booths. I also got these in booths and it's empty. Long gone. I need to refind these because these are insane. Piper's Pitta Chips with garlic and herbs perfect for like summer season barbecue season like whilst you're hosting just having a little bowl of crisps out they are so delicious please try them speaking of a barbecue season found this from Heinz and it's called mayo q I got this from B&M and it's mayo and barbecue mixed together so when I go to Subway and get a Subway I always have barbecue and mayonnaise and this is basically that so yeah, it's kind of similar, kind of, to the one that they do which mixes ketchup with mayo, but this one's obviously with barbecue. And I just really, really like it. And then whilst we have been having barbecues, we've been using this for our potatoes that we've been doing in the air fryer um, as like a little side bit of carbs to go with our barbecues. Um, and this from M&S, the roast potato seasoning. You sprinkle over potatoes for savory, crispy roasties. If you're doing a proper roast potatoes, this is fab. But even like I say, we'll just chop up some um, potatoes, just soften them in the microwave a little bit, and then sprinkle some of this on, pop them in the air fryer, and they're the most crispy, but fluffy in the inside roast potatoes ever. And then as for some sweet treats, this is now empty because we have demolished, I say we, I've demolished the lot. Tom prefers the original one. I don't think, he's not like, he would just plain milk is fine, which I love as well. But they brought out this new limited edition flavor of cappuccino and I love coffee flavored things. Like coffee cake is one of my favorites. So cappuccino rounds, if you like these anyway, and you like coffee, try the cappuccino ones. The biscuit is like a, it's the biscuit that's got coffee and it. it's like a real crunchy biscuit. Oh, it's just delicious. And then this is what I was talking about earlier. This is the best find ever. I've already had an entire bar of this. It's from B&M and they do this anyway. I've had this before in the milk chocolate version, but the white chocolate, wow, insane. But that's what it looks like. Comes in rows of two with the Biscoff cream in the middle. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna finish that with my tea. I'm having a bit of a pit stop from filming my other video, which you'll see next. My kitchen organization, decluttering, starting to bring things up in the storage room, starting to clean and clear out the cupboards. So yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of my tea my Lotus Biscoff white chocolate treat. 
Um, but yeah, close off today's video here. So I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Here is your reminder to have a little me time if you feel like you need it. Even if you don't, it's good for you, it's good for our mind. Have a bit of meditation, a bit of yoga practice, some time with family, some pamper time. Even if it's just simply to put your feet up and make yourself a cup of tea and get yourself a treat, then do it absolutely guilt-free. This is your reminder from me to do it. I am telling you, guilt-free. Enjoy. So I'm gonna end off today's video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed my little monthly reset with a bit of a focus on self-care, self-love, pampering. I feel like it's so important to just have me time and just practice self-care, self-love every once in a while. I just wanted to thank HelloFresh very kindly for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to use the discount code FF60 to get 60% off your first box and a further 25% off your next eight boxes. An incredible offer, an amazing offer. Thanks to them for giving me that offer for you guys. I will leave a QR code on screen if you want to click through there, or I will leave a link in my description box as well, where you can start your HelloFresh journey today. I feel like once you get on it, you get hooked because it's just so convenient. Love it. So yeah, can't thank them enough for kindly supporting me and sponsoring today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you have. Subscribe for more. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.